a new day, a new project, and here I am on my uh, workbench. And uh, what I want to do today is to start developing a way to have this kind of pigtail cables for different LoRa devices, different miners. And uh, the idea of this is to have a filter, a filter, a filter. You know, this is the cable, the pigtail. Okay, so I want to put a filter in here. Just cut the cable and add the filter. But of course, first of all, I need a, a, a testing bench. My nano DNA, it's uh, just arrived. I'm really happy for that. And I found me one of these male uh, connectors on an old piece of uh, board and uh, I was just improvising a PCB with three tracks. We got three tracks here and um, of course the ground is isolated by the middle, you see. If we connect only the middle here and this will be the ground. And of course, I'm going to have a, a SMA connector right here to have a way to test it with the nano DNA. So, uh, somehow it's a very simple task. This is just an adapter. We'll talk about how to make this uh, filter cable for uh, Cotex, for uh, uh, I think Bobcat, Bobcat it's also using the, this kind of uh, pigtails and so on. But now let me have this uh, done. So far I disconnect that with, uh, with the hot air station from the old PCB and I will just solder to the new one. And you know something, I'm gonna use a lot of solder just to be sure that it is in place and it is in place beautiful let's measure this we shouldn't of course ground and middle pin of course middle pin to ground nothing perfect now i have to find me um, SMA let me see is it a male I think it's an uh, a RP SMA female connector because I'm going to use this adapter or cable adapter to my nano DNA and it's much easier to have a really good idea about the filtering, you know, the filter capabilities and all this stuff. So all I have now is to have a SMA connector here. Let me see. What, what do you think? It's exactly what I need. This is crazy. Exactly what I need. How funny is this? Okay. Let me clean this uh, parts. Well, it's still warm. Why? It's not warm, it's hot. Oops. Well, I think that's the right position here. Let's see. What do you think? That's okay. Perfect. Let me have this in place. The up. That should be enough. And now let's measure again. Good. And good. All I need now is some pieces of wire. Well, I don't have a film extractor. Yes, I know. Maybe someday. But and there we are, people. Oh, it's still hot. Yes, of course. And there we are, people. We have an adapter, a pigtail adapter. So, like I said, this is the first step to a new project, you know, a cable filter or filter on cable or how you call it uh, is the same anyway. <laughs> All right. 
So now we can test this. Let me plug this in. How can I put this little filter here? You see, this is really, it, it's, it's tiny, it's impossible small. Look here. So this guy, it's like three millimeters. And it's not a problem of being the three millimeters, but it's, uh, it's also how small the legs are in there. So I found a solution, you know. Think about uh, a small PCB. You know, I just took, I grabbed a piece of that. No, just a piece of that. Blank PCB, let's call it. Then, I'm cutting a piece like this, this size. Like that. And then, over here, I'm graving can see here I'm graving and isolate the parts you know this this will be the ground and this will be for the in and out of the filter and of course I'm also disconnect this in the middle and then I can just solder this guy straight to the PCB and uh, eventually I can have the wires right here connected to the PCB why I choose that because if I want to let me show you the filter okay so here we have a filter right it's it's impossible small if I'm connecting the wire here directly I'm afraid it will be a problem mechanically. So when you connect it, you know, then you you have the okay. There is a risk having the filter, you know, just uh, disconnecting from the wire. So that's why I choose this kind of PCB solution. Okay, so now let's do the the wiring. You go back for the next project. They are so tiny, so it's very easy to to lose them on the workbench. Now let me have a big tail. Let me cut it in the middle. Let me have the wires out. Like that. Right. Now, now let's have this spreading because all I need is the middle, of course. And by the way, I don't need all the wires. So I will cut a few of this out from the picture like that but for anything I need this kind of constricting tube to fix everything in place two pieces will do the job but I think one is enough. All right. Is the filter getting in here? Yes, it does. Not so easy. But it's the single way to have this back in place. Let me try to open the tip is it yeah I think so all right this is good and now 
This is the hot one, or let's call it the filter connection. It's very good mechanically. And near that will be the ground. Yes, strong. Let's check for short. By the way, KM601 is for sale with discount. Check the link uh, in description. A very nice multimeter. Smart multimeter. It's so damn smart. <laughs> it even show where to plug the testers. There we go. Ground. And we are good to go. Middle here. Of course. So we are very good here. Very, very good. Now, the other side. Same story. Oh, I almost forgot about this guy. How can I get this in the proper way? Like that, of course. Mm -hmm. Maybe this needs a little bit of adjusting. You see, this is my first attempt to do something like this, so that's why I'm not very sure how uh, how the things are uh, working for the best results, you know. So, I'm just trying to use my, uh, how can I say, guts, <laughs> my inspiration. Open the tip. Voila. Flux. Okay. I, I forgot about this guy. But you know something? Oh yeah, look here. That's perfect. So I don't have to stress about uh, forgetting about the tube. Flux again. Flux is very important. Very, very important. And, again, this is the hot connector. It's, it's absolutely okay. And it's always happening like this. You are trying to make it better, but you are making worse. We are good to go. This is ground, obviously. And here, everything's good. Middle. Good. I think we are okay. Yes, I'll be right back. I'll use my hot air. Oh, no, I can use the lighter, of course. Why should I? Ah, and there we go, people. Filter on the cable, version number one. 
or version 1.0 and now of course let's check it out this one goes here right this one goes here and let's remember nano vna it's starting this is a minus 10 db so we have a plus 10 db okay let me turn this off a little bit come on stay in place oh, how can i do that how can i i don't have an adapter pick to pick and point to point and there we go minus 2.63 db with two cables and two extra connectors i think it's absolutely great so job done that's how this little guy is looking like i think it's perfect maybe i should put an extra piece of uh, shrinking plastic to be sure that uh, it's steady in place huh no oh yeah come on a little bit more please yeah right it's okay perfect and there we go and there we go filter on the cable it's looking good it's looking nice and it's work and it's working 100 percent okay that's it for today see you soon with some other news uh, please like please uh, subscribe push the button down there and uh, of course don't forget to have fun bye bye oh.